Hey everybody, this is Nick from Android Headlines. Today I'm going to be giving you a review of the Leo Privacy Guard version 3.0 app. So a couple months ago we had a little app review of the Leo Privacy Guard. That was for version 2. So they've now come out with a version 3.0 and that's going to add a couple more features as well as a complete redesign of the app. So let's go ahead and dive right in and give this one a shot and see exactly what it does. So launching this one from the home screen, you're going to notice that it comes up with a little pin. I've already set up the pin code in the initial setup. And that one's going to be whatever you want. You can either do a pin or I prefer a pattern lock myself. Now right on the front here, you're going to see the dashboard. Now the dashboard includes a number of things, including this little privacy scanner, which as we pointed out in our written review, isn't necessarily a scanner so much as it is to make sure that you're using all the features of the app. So we'll go ahead and run that and find out exactly what that does. You'll see that it comes in here. It uh, basically looks like it's scanning. It shows you have a bunch of new apps. You got some new photos, videos, things like that. And now we can go through and hit resolve and it'll basically up our privacy score as we enable features and use the different features of the Leo Privacy Guard. So the first thing it's going to want to do is lock specific apps. So since this is a privacy guard, you probably want to lock apps like, uh, we'll do Hangouts for instance, since that's going to have some conversations in there that maybe I don't want everybody else reading. So we go ahead and click that, lock the app. It goes through here and then it asks you to do a pin code. Now, one of the cool things that Leo Privacy Guard can do is not just putting a pin or a pattern lock on the app, but it can also do a fake screen. So to put a little theme up there and it'll basically make it look like it's something that it's not. So when you go to launch Hangouts, it'll ask you for like a fingerprint or one of the other many themes that they have on their theme store that you can pick from. Another thing that they have that you can lock are pictures and videos. So of course you can pick any of these pictures. We'll pick a couple here, some screenshots I took today. Go ahead and hide those. And then of course you've got videos, which obviously you're not going to necessarily want everybody to see your pictures and videos, especially if you're just handing them the phone. And this is an easy way to just kind of lock that stuff behind again, another pin or a different kind of code that you can use to trick them to basically think they're opening something else or getting into something else they shouldn't be. So last but not least, we have the anti-theft and anti-break-in parts of the app here. So with the anti-theft functions of the app, you're setting up a different phone number to use in case this phone gets stolen and you need to lock it, wipe the data, find the phone, whatever you need to do. It has a whole bunch of different options in here. So you can add a family phone number either from your address book. This will automatically, by clicking it, will bring up your address book. Or you can just put a phone number in there. So let's say you have another phone that you want to use, maybe as like a backup or something. You can just set that up in here. And what's great is, what's great here is you'll see that there's a lot of commands here that you can do. And as soon as you set this up and hit enable, it'll actually send a text to that phone number that you set up with all the different commands that you can send to this phone. So if you ever lose it or something like that, again, you can just send these commands to this phone. The Leo Privacy Guard app will grab it. And since it has permissions to do a number of things on the device, including enabling device administrator, which is an important part of this setup, it will actually allow it to wipe the data and reset the phone in case you're not able to find it and you'd rather keep all your stuff secure. Then there's also the break-in alert, which is a really cool new feature. So when you enable the break-in alert, it basically has a password policy here where if somebody puts the wrong password in more than three times as a default, but you can set it to whatever you'd like, it'll actually take a picture of them. Obviously this is pretty handy since now you can see exactly who's been trying to get into your device. So if somebody's trying to snoop and who would like that, you'll know exactly who it is instead of having to guess. One of the things it has here is a Wi-Fi security section, which is actually pretty cool because it will scan and make sure that your Wi-Fi is encrypted, that it's password protected. It follows a number of different criteria, as you can see here on the screen, and it'll tell you if your Wi-Fi is safe, and if not, then why it's not safe. And then you can enable or disable those features as you choose. This is just another handy little part that they've added in the version 3.0 that's really actually kind of nice because it really helps you know, hey, okay, am I in the coffee shop? Is this Wi-Fi actually secure or is this some garbage Wi-Fi that somebody might be grabbing my data off of? Moving into the app lock section, you'll see that we can check out a number of themes that are enabled here, including a whole bunch that are online. So by default, it just comes with the one local and then there's a whole bunch of different ones online that you can view here. So we'll go ahead and grab the magic book because hey, that has cats and I guess who on the internet doesn't like cats, right? All of these themes are registered on the Play Store so they are legitimate apps, if you will. They're not just uh, some side loaded thing or something like that. So I guess that falls in line with the privacy part of the privacy guard. So that's actually just the theme of the app itself and the lock screen that the app uses. So now we can also go into the app cover mode which actually puts a cover on top of the app instead of just a pin or a pattern lock. So it makes it a little more interesting and probably does a little better job of tricking the person into thinking they're doing something else on the phone rather than maybe what they intended to. So each of the covers has their own little hidden way of unlocking it rather than what it actually says on the screen. So 
We'll go into the fingerprint one, for instance, since this Nexus 6P has a fingerprint scanner on it. Somebody wouldn't necessarily think that that's a weird thing to see a fingerprint on there. So you have to tap three times in one second to actually unlock this. Whereas somebody might just think, okay, well, I put my finger on the fingerprint reader, or better yet, more than likely if they see fingerprint, they'll probably think, oh, I probably can't get past that since this is likely not my fingerprint since it's not my phone. So we'll give that one a shot. We'll go ahead and launch Hangouts and see what it does. Yep, there you go. Now you have the little fingerprint scanner. You would think, okay, I'll press the fingerprint scanner. Again, that doesn't work. So maybe somebody trying to launch this wouldn't actually know what to do, but you know, click three times on that and you unlock it. And now you have, your, of course, your pin unlock or your pattern unlock, and there's your Hangouts. Overall, I found the Leo Privacy Guard to be pretty awesome. If you want to check out the full written review on the site, we'll go ahead and link that down below. The Leo Privacy Guard is a free app, and as such, it is ad-supported, so you're going to find ads here and there on the app. Sometimes it wasn't in the greatest of places, as you will see in the written review, but overall, I would say this is a pretty darn good privacy app. It does a good job of hiding apps, hiding photos, pictures, videos. You can even do private contacts, or you can have private call logs, private messages. Everything is locked away behind pin code, or a pattern unlock, and of course you have those app covers to fool people into thinking that there's not actually a pin code, it's something like a fingerprint reader, or a number one of the other things that they have on the app. So go ahead and check that out. Maybe give it a try for yourself since it's free. There's also a little speed booster app here too that's designed to clear out RAM, but it didn't work exactly right on Marshmallow for me. So your results may vary on that one, and you may not want to even use it anyway, but of course that's up to you. Give it a shot, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Check us out on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you're at, we're at. Thanks for watching. Till next time.